Hello, I made this video just to talk about uh, how uh, we use uh, uh, something called Vibhakti, V-I-P-H-A-K-T-I, which is the word on the screen in Sanskrit. So whenever we want to say something, uh, uh, like if I want to say I did this or I drove the car, uh, then I is the subject and when we want to use subject, uh, uh, or um, I was driven by the car, uh, car was out of my control, then you are the object. Uh, by is uh, with. So they, um, the words like to, from, um, owned, or in, um, or um, when somebody wants to call upon you, they are being uh, joined by... Um, uh, different um, uh, signs when they are used. So, um, if a word ends with uh, oh or that kind of a sound, um, then they join it with something else. When it ends with E, uh, it join with uh, something else. So, uh, this is Akarant, which means that if a word ends with A, which is a big A, uh, like A, and uh, how would you do that so uh, if you want to use that word as an object if you use to want to use that word with by or with if you want to use that word as for like i bought this for sita sita is like a name uh, if it's a name of a woman then if i bought this for sita then uh, uh, I bought food for Sita, so for Sita would be automatically become Sita Ye and not for Sita. So I bought this from Sita, like she gave me this. And if she's a lady, then uh, Sita Ya from Sita. So based on um, how we use uh, to and from and uh, or these things belong to Sita. So this thing uh, belongs uh, to Sita would be Sita ya, and two you would not have a word like two. Uh, uh, this thing is lying on Sita's head, so the word on uh, would be the seventh one. So all of these uh, uh, words help you to frame uh, uh, the things like whether it's a subject, whether it's an object, whether it is with Sita. So with Sita's help, I pass the exam. So. Uh, with or by her help so uh, that's how they use it they use a, a different way to explain this uh, in, in Hindi so in Hindi it's uh, Sita did something then it's the first one uh, which if you, you, you will not if you don't understand this writing it means you don't need to worry about that but the first one is kind of like Sita did this uh, and the second one is action where Sita is used as an object like uh, uh, I want to uh, kidnap Sita. So uh, I, Sita is an object. I'm, I want to kidnap an object or something like that. Um, Sita did something, which is the third one and so on. So uh, they made this uh, table and there is no word like uh, by or for or from or in. Or if I want to call upon Sita, then I would say uh, something else. So... Um, and if you don't understand something, the idea is that there is an 8 by 3 matrix. On the left hand side, we have uh, uh, these aspects of the word, whether it is from or by or for, or whether it is used as an object or a verb, whether it is used as a possession. And on the three columns, we have whether it's one, two or more. So if Sita is not a name or if it's not a name. So here, if it ends with the sound U, which is O, then they have a different matrix. So I think they have a matrix for four or five matrix. I'm not sure based on how it ends. So this is ending with E. This is ending with O. And uh, the one was ending with A. And based on that, you have those possessions. So you need to, uh, and there is a generic uh, idea. All of the words that ends with a sound like A will have the same thing added. So if the main base word is Sita, then um or ya or ye or yaha or yam so it depends on what the words and and how would you use a subject object 
there is uh, no ambiguity here so uh, there are no exceptions to this rule and it's used as it is just depending on the sound of which the word ends um, you would use uh, uh, a table and if you go here he would uh, uh, give this thing like which sound are you going to add after that uh, so this uh, is how uh, you take your first step in understanding how actually we are using the words like for from on this idea is partially borrowed in Hindi which also use that but in Hindi as you can see this guy says we still have on and from so in Hindi we detracted from that idea um, and started using on or for or from or by just like English uh, maybe it came from uh, Persian but uh, we uh, lost that while in Sanskrit it's all mixed up uh, it's, it's, it's the word and uh, some suffix uh, is added at the end so uh, once you have these uh, it means that you can actually program everything very clearly to write something in, in in Sanskrit because the rules are clear what you are going to do when the word with ends with a particular uh, uh, sound or, or, or a word or uh, and how you would place those words uh, one beside the other